So in honor of FragranceBuy.ca's door crashing 10th anniversary deals, your boy picked up a few fragrances. We like to call it a little fragrance haul. Some of these fragrances are quite interesting, have never smelled any of them. And later in the video, I'm gonna give you some details on these door crasher deals where they're gonna save you some bread because Uncle Cuba never likes you paying retail. Let's roll my music so I can put you onto the five fragrances that I got from Fragrance Buy as a whole. It better not suck. Welcome to the YouTube channel that will make you laugh more than a gaggle of unicorns mating in the Serengeti. His wealth of knowledge will make the most astute astrophysicist question. His life decisions, led by his spiritual advisors, Chuck Norris and Walter Mercado, I present to you, Mr. Kind of a Big Deal. Kind of a big deal. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C3U to the B to A. What a variety of fragrances that I selected from Fragrance Buy for this haul. I'm talking about houses that I've never smelled, fragrance houses that I've tried and liked, and hype joints. So let's jump right into it. So this first fragrance, I picked it up. I saw it on some thumbnails. The name was quite interesting, and it's called FOMO. Not to be confused with... Watch yourself. It is FOMO. And this one's called a frag heads. Watch yourself. Asylum extrait de puff. Huh. Let's unbox this joint. I've taken the cellophane out of all of them just to save myself some time. And here is what the presentation looks like of this bottle. Really cool looking bottle. It's got a little bit of a blue hue with some gradients action. A little heavy top. Now I have no idea if this is an interpretation or an original creation. I yearn for it madly. My soul has achieved tranquility. The hell is has some weird mirror shit over here. Allegedly, this is a clone of Roja's Elysium. I knew that based on that color palette. I just Googled it. But is it gonna smell like a Roja Elysium on a budget? Cause this shit was cheap. Like sub $30 cheap. Listen, Uncle Cooper's trying to go back to the roots of balling on a budget, trying to find y'all some steals and deals. And so many clone brands are popping up nowadays, producing some really solid interpretations that will help you during this uh, economic crisis. Economic downturn. FOMO. Watch it. A Fraghead's Asylum is a Roja alternative. That's really fucking close. It's actually Roja Elysium with a little bit more of a shower soapiness, but super wearable. I mean, this is extremely good. The citrus here is definitely not as tart as the Roja joint. It's a little bit more soapy, a little bit shower freshish, but a lot of DNA from that Roja Elysium vibe. Slightly softer, but I think taking away that sharp citric almost sour component makes it actually a little bit more wearable and possibly more mass appealing. It still shares the amber, the lemon, the grapefruit, but a lot more shower fresh cleanliness on this joint. I gotta try this on skin. This is actually very good for 30 bucks. That's pretty crazy. I mean, the name is kind of cheesy, but so is my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, a little bit harsh on that initial opening. This definitely needs some time to rest. It smells slightly aerosolic hairspray, kind of Aquanet vibes. I feel like I just stepped out of a Dominican salon and the shorty just came out of the hair dryer, that blower joint with the rollers. Uh, the name is cheesy, the bottle is tolerable. Absolutely a ball sprayer for 30 bucks. I'm gonna be spraying a lot of shit on my balls today, hopefully. So let's start it now. Excuse me. Sub 30 bucks, this next one. The next one I had to pick up because I've seen it on so many thumbnails, everybody's speaking about this joint. Rave Now Intense by, fuck is this shit? Latafa, what the fuck made this? I thought it was Latafa, I'm pretty sure it's Latafa, but who cares? You know what I care about? Sub $20. So let's take a look at the presentation. Here's what the box looks like. Cool beans, whatever, whatever. This feels like it's 3D printed with like a rubber mesh right over here, like on the grid here. Oh, that's oddly satisfying. So it's a hard candy shell outside, very plasticky, very cheapy, and it's got this rubber like, is it drop protectant? Nope, I think I broke it. So all I know about this fragrance, it's a blue fragrance. Uh, what is it interpreting? Uh, we'll find out shortly. I don't know what the performance is, I don't know what the sillage is, but I wanna know about the scent profile, because if it's sub $20, I believe it's about 18 bucks on fragrance buy. You can't beat that, fam. And that is deliciously good Dylan Blue. It's like hybrid. It's Dylan Blue. I don't know why Lacoste screams a little bit in my brain. Lacoste 
L12 for some reason. That just pops into my brain. I'm looking at some of the designer blends in the back. It's in that blue space, but Versace Dylan Blue is definitely the most pronounced. Lacoste L1212 mixed with like a slight subtle blue to Chanel kind of vibe. And then we got that Dylan Blue Essence. 17, 18 bucks? All right, let's try this gentleman's skin. That's fuckboy central. This is definitely something that has all that mass appeal that the young cats is looking for. I mean, I could definitely pull this on some party vibes. Keep in mind, I'm completely hung over right now. I went to a wedding reception yesterday. I could have worn this and smelled like the stripper who swallowed the stripper. This is actually party animals. I'm getting a lot more woodish pencil shaving kind of energy off my skin. That's unusual. I didn't expect that at all. Very nice, fun, citric, playful, party, blue, aquatic, sexy, definitely easy going out for 20, bro, not even 20, $17? I don't know. Like I'm getting L1212. Now I'm like Abercrombie, Fitch, Fierce, Dylan Blue. It's like a concoction of fuckboy energy and I respect it. It's not trying to be anything else but that. More than anything, the price is really what's doing it to me. Yeah, it's a, it's a bull spray. I mean, if this is Latafa, which I'm assuming it is, I, I'm pretty sure it is, Ja's gonna love this shit. Next fragrance is also potentially a clone by the house of Al Haramain, and that's Royal Musk. I saw this on a short. Jeremy Fragrance was smelling this joint and was giving it, you know, the ultimate power. You know that shit that he does? Full disclosure, like solid musk fragrances can be a little wild. It's a, they're a little crazy. Here's what the presentation looks like. Very cool looking bottle. Haramain is known for making some grenade performing fragrances, and I'm anticipating this is gonna be that. I didn't look up the notes for this joint particularly, and I assume it's going to be a prominent musk fragrance based on the name, but prominent musk fragrances sometimes smell a little bit like wild. Obviously it's not gonna be real musk, but is it gonna be real dog shit? We'll find out. All right, Royal Musk by Haramain. Very clean musk, cottonish. Also has that hairish spray action, just more of the aerosolic kind of the after smell of something being sprayed that's killing our ozone. That kind of smell with a super clean musk. Definitely cold weather vibes. It has a very snuggles teddy bear comforting sensation like, ooh, let's dry fuck a teddy bear. He is dry humping my garden though. Interesting, yeah, the notes pretty much say that it's powdery, musky, clean, ylang ylang, orris. It's very clean, very chill, not hypey, not turned up. Kind of relaxing actually. Almost candle waxish. I like it, I don't absolutely love it, but it is what it's supposed to be, a really clean, sexy musk. That's very tolerable. For me, I would give it a half a ball spray. I'm not getting much over here, next one. So I recently went to All Saints and did a little bit of a shopping spree and I saw that they had some fragrances and so did Fragrance Buy. So I picked up All Saints Leather Skies. I'm a fan of All Saints. I think I'm wearing an All Saints t-shirt right now. Let me show you my six pack. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing one. Yep, there you go. I just show you my titties. Only fans, $3. All Saints Leather Sky. This is one that I did not smell at the shop. They only had like three fragrances. I went to the outlets. I mean, who pays retail? Here's what the presentation of the bottle looks like. Leather Skies by All Saints. I haven't smelled this particular All Saint fragrance. I forgot what the other one was, but it was okay. It reminded me of like a Byredo kind of scent profile. The other one, I just don't remember the name of it off rip. But Leather Skies, I have not smelled. I am a fan of the All Saints lineup. It has this kind of like rocker-ish type energy. So I'm assuming that this leather is gonna be kind of sexy. The leather here is not super leathery. It's more of like a fire boot with like red pepper. Nice musk in here. A good amount of spice. A nice dry vetiver kind of energy off of this joint. And more of a suede nuance. That's actually pretty good. Wow. It's an eau de parfum concentration. It's a little bit light on this paper. I'm gonna have to go on skin real quick to see what kind of energy this is producing off of skin. It's more like a clean suede with some peppery vibes. It's not a big wow factor, but it's very pleasing to me. Like I'm really enjoying the really sharp red pepper kind of vibe and that vetiver dryness with that subtle suede energy. They're very pronounced to, to, to my nose at least. This doesn't perform very well off of my skin, off that singular spray. It kind of stays very close to the skin, but it's also a very sexy scent. I like this joint. I could spray this shit all day and not be expensive. Like it doesn't have great projection or sillage currently. Again, it's just one singular spray. When I do my usual four or five, it might potentially change, but this has something very pleasing about it that attracts my personal style and interest. 
So for me, it's absolutely gonna be a ball spray. And as a matter of fact, it's gonna be my scent of the day because I really wanna give this shit a shot. I mean, I'm wearing all saints already. Might as well put it in that space. A little light in the air, but I'm not mad at it. A little light on the skin right now, but I'm not mad at it. I smell it, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna project or be a big cloud bubble of sexiness around me. But it gives me a nice little self-confidence boost. So I'm all about this shit. All saints ain't letting me down. Might let you down though, because I know you guys want like 17 hours of projection like a bunch of weirdos. Next one. And finally, this one was a roll of the dice, but I'm a big fan of the Fort and Manly lineup. And this one's notes seem particularly interesting, and that's all the Queen's men. Cause she was a whore. She's a whore. Cool presentation with the little red dot sticker joint. Open this piece up, slide it out of its sleeve, and here is what the bottle looks like. Very cool looking bottle. I love the font. It has that old school, traditional, great Gatsby, almost art deco-ish energy. There's a reason why I picked this one. It's booze, dried fruit, and honey. Yeah, anything with booze in it. This could be the aerated version of Hair of the Dog. Let's check out all the Queen's men. Ah, I love a promiscuous woman. She promiscuous? Oh yeah. Back in my day, not now, currently. My wife, I'll stab you in the fucking heart. I'm kidding, that's insane. Holy shit, that is rich and awesome. The honey here is beyond pure. This is raw, organic, whole food honey up in this piece. The booze is definitely strong, very present, but it's gonna take you a minute to get over that honey drizzle, dry fruit, straight dehydration of organic energy. This is like the Trader Joe's hippie vibes of honey. Very potent, fall and winter only, so rich and decadent. You can feel the stickiness in your mouth. Paul, it sounded crazy. There's also like a crazy assortment acorn potpourri kind of blend that you put in the middle of the table to give you that holiday spirit kind of aerosolic energy. Boozy, straight honey, dry fruit, and that's really the punch of it. I'm gonna have to go on skin with this joint because that is one of the most photorealistic, organic, honey, thick, molasses -y, sticky scents that I've smelled in quite a while. I mean, it's so rich. It feels like there's molasses in that look is what this shit smells like, 1000%. Same energy off the skin, very sticky, sweet, slightly spicy with the right amount of cinnamon. The dried fruit here, as you can tell, that there's a variety of different dried fruits. You got a little bit of raisins, you got a little bit of a dried peach, dried apple, pear, honey drizzle right on top of this joint. And then you take a little bit of a whiskey, you put your thumb over and just start glazing it. That is rich, decadent, very sophisticated, niche -y. This isn't mass appeal, or her pussy's just gonna be leaking once she walks in the distance. It's not that. This is more for that bougie, sophisticado, fragrance connoisseur, which I'm not. I'm an idiot with a camera fan. Now let me hit you with some of the details of this fragrance by 10th anniversary door crasher deal. So it's going from October 27th to October 29th. On October 27th, it starts at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And on the 29th, it ends at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. And all the information will be listed below. So using the code DECADE25, the first fragrance that you buy, the second one will be 25% off, fam. And all purchases over 150 bucks get free shipping. And you're gonna use the shipping code FREESHIP99, because it's technically 199 Canadian dollars, but we run US around here. Not to mention the first 1,000 people get a free sample using the link below. And one of the best parts is that they're gonna have these heavily discounted door crasher deals in the link in the description. And uh, Snapple fact, you know that Baccarat Rock Rouge 540 Clone Frank Olivier Pure Addiction, which is one of my favorites, sub 30 bucks in that deal. This one will be in there also. So happy 10th anniversary fragrance by. Thank you for sponsoring today's video and showcasing all these different fragrances. The door crasher deals is gonna be crazy. Pick yourself up a little BR540 inspired under 30. And we found some fire hidden gems. We got that rave joint for under 20 stones. That's Versace Dylan Blue mixed with a couple of other boy fragrances. We got this Wild Fort and Manly ridiculous Hun I mean, whole foods, honey, and booze. We discovered this week All Saint fragrance, which smells fantastic. Not everything has to be a performance monster. We got this super clean and warming musky fragrance that no deer's lives had to be sacrificed for the making of this fragrance. And of course, we have a little bit of a FOMO, which was a complete shock Elysium clone that's cheap as shit. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Which one of these fragrances seemed interesting to you? All the information to Frag Buys deals will be listed in the description. I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. This leather skies right now is smelling so money. I'm gonna go put on my cowboy boots and my man thong. I'm just kidding, kind of. Smooches. Hey, for all the
chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would...